Hey there guys, so I'm back today with a much requested video for you. This video is going to be my bookshelf tour. Without further ado, here is my bookshelf. So this is the very top shelf of my bookshelf. It is ridiculously high. I'm actually standing on a chair right now so I can show you. So pretty much all I have up here is some stuff that isn't really book stuff. It's just journals, uh, an old planner that's really important to me because it was like a really significant year in my life so I kept that. I have like one, uh, a green eggs and a ham book. This little teddy bear is actually one of the first presents that I gave my husband when we first started dating. And these little rhinoceros guys right here are actually my husband's. My husband picked these up when he went to Nigeria several years ago. Okay, so this is the second shelf of my bookshelf. Um, it's kind of a mix from school books that I've kept to just some other classics and that kind of thing. So over here we have a thesaurus and then this is my Ian Bound books on prayer. It's like seven books in one. We have, um, this is one of my favorite favorite psych textbooks that I've had to get and that's why I've kept it itself. Directed Behavior. Poets Companion, The Quiet Room, which is a really, really good book. A story about a woman who had a schizophrenia and she just kind of talks about what that was like for her. And then Out of the Shadows is a book that sexual addiction and stuff like that. It was really, really interesting and eye-opening. Trigger Town, Deborah Tannen. You just don't understand. This was a sociology class I took last spring and it was really, well the class wasn't good, but this was the only really good book out of all the books I had to read. Word Power Made Easy. And then Dib Sit and Search for Help. This is another psych book that I have. This book is really interesting because it's about child play therapy. And then we have Not Rising, Soul, Princess Bride, Under the Never Sky, Rapture, Hounded, Girl in Translation, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Emma, Sabriel, and Lyriel. So now we've come to the third shelf of my bookshelf. I have The Red Pyramid, which is by Rick Riordan. I actually picked this book up when I was on my honeymoon with my husband's. And I have The Age of Miracles. And then right here, I have book one through four of the Tiger's Curse series, which is by Colleen Howe. Sandra Clare's Immortal Instruments series, which is amazing. And then we have Ali Condi's series, Match Crossed Reach, The Forsaken, The Raven Boys, Shiver, Linger, and forever. And right over here in the very back corner we have Stolen. Okay, so this is the fourth bookshelf. The first book that we have is Make Up Your Mind, Express Yourself by Frances Nars. This is one of my favorite makeup books I own. It is amazing. For those of you guys who don't know, I am a makeup artist, so I love this book. It's simply awesome. I flip through it a lot when I'm just looking for inspiration and stuff like that for work. And then right here I have my Beautiful Creatures box set. I'm missing Beautiful Redemption right here, but when I have it, it goes right here. And then all this other stuff is stuff that is just sentimental to me. This right here is a really beautiful jewelry box that my aunt and uncle bought me the last time that I visited my family in South Korea. I don't know how well it's showing up, but this is laden with Mother of Pearl, and it has these beautiful flowers and cranes on it, and each side of the jewelry box is like that, even the top. You got some mountains and stuff like that. I love this because it's so beautiful. And then you just unhook that and then you bring it open. This right here is just a little doll that my dad bought for me when he visited Japan a while ago. Then I have this picture frame back here and I have this little elephant guy because I really, really love elephants. So the first book that we have right here is The Vampire Academy, followed by Sea Change, Ink Exchange, then we have Blue Bloods, Masquerade, Revelations, and then we have The Mayfair Moon and Kindred, Tamara Weber's Easy. I love this book, you guys. I'm just going to shout out and tell you guys how much I love this book. I did a review on it. It is one of my favorite books I've read this year so far in 2012. It's awesome. You need to read it. Obsidian Onyx. Existence by Abby Glines, and then we have Trickster's Choice, which is by Tamara Pierce, Full Spain, The Host, which is by Stephanie Meyer. It is nothing like Twilight, and I know that a lot of people are like, oh, it's probably just another Twilight. It's completely different. It's in a completely different sphere, universe, all of its own, and it's amazing. If you guys haven't read it, I really suggest and encourage you guys to go check it out. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn book uh, books. So, yeah. And then two books I have right on top right here is Unlikely Allies, which is by Tiffany King, and then Incarceron, 